the judge uh, took into consideration the defendant's performance in the, in the prison since the sentencing in 1988. He had three convictions for assault. Uh, he assaulted guards in 1993 and 1999, and then 2015, he attacked a fellow inmate uh, with a shank, stabbing him some three times in the head. So this was a very, very violent offender, and a life sentence was entirely appropriate. He's a, the poster child for uh, a life sentence for a juvenile offender. Uh, you know, usually we can't look into the future. This is a case where we could see uh, what, uh, what sort of inmate he became, and uh, we could see that he was not redeemable in any way. Pain uh, that this still causes 30 years after the fact was, was evident. And uh, you heard the, the victim impact uh, testimony, and it was heart-wrenching. This is an offender who's never, ever seen the light of day. This family would have had to go before the parole board probably every year to oppose uh, his parole because this person is going to be dangerous for the rest of his life.